Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create basically a wall that locks you behind a certain stat you need to get inside Roblox Studio. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is go under the View tab and open up the Explore and Properties. So now we're gonna be making our actual wall um, for our tutorial. So what you can do is go under Model, insert a part, click on Scale, and then now over here, you may scale your part however you want. So I'm just going to make a very large wall right here. I think that should work. So once you have your wall, you can now customize it slightly. So I'm just going to click on the wall over here. I'm going to go into the name. I'm going to just rename this into let's name it stat wall. And then I'm going to go inside of the properties of the wall and I can change different things like the brick color, which will change the color of the wall. And I can also change some other properties like the transparency of the wall, which I can set it to 0.5, which will make it a little bit see through just like that. So once you have a wall that you are happy with, uh, what we need to do is actually have a stat for the player. So to do that, we need to go into the service script service click the plus and enter in a script and let's rename this script into leader stats. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing the leader stats right now. But if you want a full tutorial on how to make leader stats, you can click on the first link in the description or on the video on the top right of the screen right now. So what I'm going to do right now is just quickly make a leader stats. You can pause and copy if you want to. So over here, I just really quickly made a leader stat script. So basically what this does is when the player joins the game, we're just going to create a new folder called leader stats, name it leader stats and put it under the player. And we also created a new int value um, named level. We gave it some properties and put it under our leader stats. So once you have your leader stats or data store or some kind of value inside of the game, uh, what we can do is go into our explore over here and under the replicated storage, Click the plus and enter in a remote event. And we can rename this remote event to something like unlock wall. Just like that. And then after we have our remote event under the replicated storage, we can go back over here to our script. So just go down two lines. And on the first line, we can write something like local remote event equals to game dot replicated storage on wait for child and inside the brackets put in quotation marks and then write unlock wall so what this does is this just gives us a variable for the actual remote event so we can work with it later in the script so after we have that variable we can just go to the last line of um our leader stats right before the end over here just go down two lines and then we can write if level dot value is over equals to and then here you want to put in um like the number that you want your player to get to before you unlock the wall um so for example if i wanted the player to be level five before the wall unlocks i would just put in the number five if i want that number to be three then it can just be three but it just has to be a number and then put in then and then go down the line and then write remote event colon fire client and inside the brackets put in player now this now it is important to know that if you do have a different leader stat script that this player over here should match the one inside of the brackets of when the player is added because we are referring to the actual player here so after that what we can do is go down another two lines and then we can write level colon get property change signal and then inside the brackets put in quotation marks and write value Outside the brackets, write colon, connect function, put in brackets, and then go down the line. And then just copy these three lines over here and just paste them in. And then the leader stat script should be done. So basically what we have done here is uh, when the player first enters the game, we'll check if the level is over level 5. And if it is, then we'll send a remote event to the client. And then the second part over here is we're just checking that when the level is changed, if it changed to be over five, then we'll also send that same remote event to the player's client. So now we need to do something with the actual player's client. So what we can do is go back into the explore 
and then find starter player and we can just insert a local script inside the starter player scripts let's rename the script to something like unlocking a wall script something like that and what we can do is go back into the leader stat script just copy in that first line over there and just paste that in to this new script so basically what we've done is we've just carried over this remote event we've all, we also gave it a variable but this time it's just inside of this new local script so after that we can go down to lines and then we can write something like remote event dot on client event colon connect function put in brackets and then go down the line and then we can write local wall equals to workspace dot stat wall so what this line does is basically we're giving a variable to our stat wall or in this case it is this wall right here that we named stat wall at the beginning of the video so after that we can go down a line and then we can write wall dot can collide equals to false and after that we can also write wall dot dot brick color equals to brick color dot new inside uh the brackets we can put in the color that the wall will change to when we have access or it's unlocked so in this case um probably some type of green um if you're not sure like what kind of green you want just go into the properties of the wall and under brick color just find like the color green that you want it to turn into so maybe i want like this this bright green right here so just get that name it is a uh, bright green and go back into the script and then just write in bright green and just make sure that the name is exactly the same just like that and after you've done that just change it back to the color you want it to be when it is locked so basically what we've done here is when the player receives this remote event basically what we'll do is we'll find and locate the wall that we want to change and then we'll make it so that the player can walk through it and we'll also just change the color to like a bright green to let the player know that this wall is no longer locked. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. As you can see, we have our leader stats. And right now we are level zero and the wall is red, which means we cannot go through this wall. Um, so if I go into the server and I go into the player, let's find our leader stats level let's change it to something like four and we go back to our client you see as level four we still can't go over the wall because in the script we set it to five so if i go back into the server right there this time let's change it to level five and go back to the client as you can see this time as you can see because we are now level five um the wall has turned green and we can now walk right through it because we have reached the level five threshold. And this also works with any value that is higher than five. For example, if I'm level 80, I can still walk through the wall because inside the script, we said any um, level value that is over or equivalent to the five. Now you probably have a question right now. Does this work in multiplayer? If one person unlocks it, Will this unlock it for everybody? And the answer is, well, no. And I'll show you a quick demonstration of that. So if I go into studio, I go into test. And over here, we have a local server and we can test it with two different players. I press start. It will basically generate um, like my own mini Roblox server uh, with two players in it. And as you can see right now, I'm inside this little server that Roblox created for me. So this is the player two and this is player one so as you can see right now they are both level zero and none of them can actually uh, get through the wall right now if i go into the server if i change player one's level to something like level five as you can see as uh, as player one i can now move through the wall freely uh but as player two uh, i still cannot because i haven't reached level five yet so yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!